A big concern with this heavy rain is Ellicott City, still devastated after the deadly flooding last week. Pat Warren is live in Howard County with more on the flood victims. Pat? Well, here at St. Paul Roman Catholic Church, Ellicott City residents have come together for encouragement and community. As Main Street businesses continue to assess damage and the costs and the risk to rebuild, tough choices are being made and prayers are being lifted up, with Archbishop Lori celebrating Mass for the flood stricken community. I think everybody is looking at their options. I understand today many people had a chance to, uh, who, who have property down below to look at what happened. I, they're going to have some really difficult decisions and questions to make. Uh, I think we we walk by faith, we take it one day at a time, and we have to continue to stick together. Business owners are torn, seeing a repeat of the challenges they faced in the 2016 flood and fearing future financial ruin. Not to forget loss of life. We dodged the bullet. A lot of our neighbors didn't. And the one fatality we had was my guy. Uh, he was the last remaining initial employee at Victoria Restaurant Group when we opened in 2007. Uh, Edison Herman, Eddie, and uh, he truly was a hero. He was also recognized today at this mass. His funeral is planned for Thursday. I'm Pat Warren reporting live from Ellicott City. Now back to you, Tracy. Pat, thank you. Funeral arrangements have been set for Staff Sergeant Edison Herman. A public visitation will be held on Thursday, June 7th at 10 a.m. at the church at Seven Run in Severn. Funeral services will begin at 10.30. Herman will be buried at the Maryland Veterans Cemetery in Crownsville.